it. So in um, the summer of, I think, 2002 or three, a while back, I, I had a, uh, no manager or anything. If you wanted to give me a play, I don't even know how to put agent yet. If you wanted me to play to find me, it was not that hard to find. Email me, and then my, my deal was I have to make as much as I would make at work that, that the entire period of time away. And then occasionally I would exaggerate how much I might be making. <laughs> I was getting a little better paid because I worked in Iowa. Wages in Iowa are bad. So it's, a, it's, a, it's a right to work state. <laughs> that means, yeah, I know, right? That means you have the right to be paid pretty badly. <laughs> so, uh, a lot of union busting stuff. But, uh, but anyway, so some people got in touch from Paris. Come on out. We're going to sit around and write songs for a week in the neighborhood called Santu Wong. And, uh, and we'll have a show at the end, and it seemed very delightful, except I don't generally write songs with anybody else. I, my songwriting process involves me and a guitar and a chair or the floor, and nobody else around, all the other have children. I'm surrounded by people when I do it, so it's fine. But, but back then, like, they, they, were, they were stressing in their correspondence, like, there will be much opportunity for collaboration. And I was like, yeah, okay, well, we'll talk about that when I get there. It's not going to happen, right? So, uh, but I did get there, and I met Kimmy Dawson, and Kimmy Dawson... <laughs> And Kimmy remembers fondly that the first thing I said to her is, I don't work well with others. <laughs> and she made it her mission like, to, to, to uh, increase, well, increase my discomfort toward the greater goal of, of, of helping me work with other people, which is good. Um, and I thought, of, uh, I thought of those people when, when uh, David Berman, if you, if you didn't hear, if there's anybody in this room who doesn't know, the singer from The Silver Jews died yesterday, from, uh, 52 years old. The best of our generation for my money and uh and it's incredibly sad and uh and his music all of the people i've met on this journey from 2002 95 practically everybody has a favorite david bergman couplet everybody knows how good he was everybody knows that that's what you want to reach for is that level of commitment to your craft and i said something on my personal facebook about how sad it is and i noticed people from paris benoit and Lisa the Moon uh, responding and with stories of their own. Uh, and I thought of one of the songs that I wrote on the floor of, I think it was the hottest week Paris had seen in a hundred years. <laughs> and, uh, uh, and, uh, and I sat on the floor of these studios in this building, uh, writing lyrics in front of other people and, and feeling pretty studly about it when it worked. <laughs> so, I, so I had to just do that in a room full of people, why not? And uh, I've never played this one live, except for that week I played it live. Uh, on the stage because I figured we should play the songs we had written. Uh, I believe I had killed three quarters of a bottle of good French wine at that point. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, I hope that my lyric cheat sheet doesn't blow away or this is called Scavenger Babies. Yeah! yeah! <laughs> the cat 